Just off the coast of the city, there's an island. You know how the city is called Volcaldera Bluffs? I I'd seen the bluffs. I, I just haven't seen the caldera or the vol. The island hosts both. Manuahi, it's called. Um, and Kawela o Kekai i Kalani, being three volcanoes making up the archipelago. With its lush natural forestry, the island's been labeled a national park. Every last plant here grow of its own accord, creating a wild jungle that beautifully engulfs every section of life here. All the way up to the mountain peak, where numerous hiking trails lead to a scenic view of the dormant volcano, as well as a panoramic of the island itself. Then there's the small yet bustling town that sits just above the golden sand beaches, where, aquatic di where the aquatic dino inhabitants make their real living. So many antique, <laughs> so many unique boutiques here, all to bursting with handmade trinkets that are perfectly capture the island's community. And then there's the few resorts, such as the one we're staying at, nestled on the foothills to give the tourists the best view possible. Our connected suites face towards the towering mountain with our shared balcony giving us a view almost directly of the largest dormant volcano. Mm. It was the perfect setup there, not only with the well-padded lawn chairs, but even with a built-in grill for Olivia and Damien to fight over. Dang! I step out of the shower and start drying off with a towel. All day, I got to see so many sights. The I we got to see as many sights as the island has to offer. <laughs> All day today, we got to see as many sights the island has to offer as we could. True to his word, Damien's top priority was surfing lessons. I'll be down at the shore every day this week for in a few hours. Olivia tells me the dinos can't s get sunburned, but I swear he seemed a little redder this... Well, he's outside, like, constantly. Speaking of, Olivia offered to handle my sunscreen treatment. I don't know which of us was more eager. Me, avoiding the harsh shun's rays, or Olivia, who looked elated at the idea of being handsy with me. While well, she did a good job, I just... I, I felt the need for a sun-based guts tattoo was too much. <laughs> painting the rat, or not painting the rat, I guess. At first, we all hung together checking out the shops and restaurants we wanted to visit. But after Damien ran out on his own, we started to disperse and go on our own adventures. Liz found a place that would give her a full neck massage. Ben became engrossed in the cultural side of the island. I like how they're just friends now. Like, ending four seems like it's speedrunning a bunch of shit. Like, this is why you can just make a linear story. Just tell this story. Why are you giving me choices if one of the choices is the worst ever? And ending three is better because it just gets to the point and fucking sticks the landing. My reward is getting to read stuff I'm not interested in as a genre. Wow. What a perfect prize for little old me. <laughs> Sorry. Ben became a gross in the cultural side of the island, taking a foot tour through the history of Mahu Manu Ahi. Get your bionicle ass names out of here. And Olivia and I decided to hang out at the Luau, sampling the bonfire cooked meats. While watching a lively fire. There's so much meat in this game. There's so much meat. It's like the creators would look at a salad and vomit. There's one last thing tonight. If you ask me, it's the most important. Like, I get it, they're carnivores. But f no. Inko isn't. Give this man an apple before he gets scurvy. I walk. I, I, exit, the bathroom in a f I exit the bathroom in a fresh set of clothes. Olivia's still wearing a hoodie. I'm surprised she doesn't overheat. But I guess that's just another fucking perk for the dinosaurs. Outside, the sky is beginning to darken. The sun is riding along the edge of the monolithic husk of the volcano. Hey, do anyone live above this 96th meridian? Meridians are left to right, Inko. Oh, sorry. That's why I picked this resort. It's not a better view on the state. Olivia lazes around on one of the large beds. She sips an exotic juice cocktail and flips through a travel magazine. Jesus fucking Christ, you're throwing your weight around, aren't you, big boy? Took you long enough. You sampling every darn soap they got in there? I'm just thorough. Besides, I smell worse than you because dinosaurs get all the cool perks. You don't sweat as much. If I'd have known you'd take half an hour, I would have gone first. It's about time to meet up. Jesus, he takes half an hour? I can shower and shave in 15, my man. 
Now that's if I'm being thorough with shaving. Taking a spot beside her, I see Olivia's phone resting on her stomach. Not the call with your dago. The old Baryonyx had just called as we got back to our room, which is why I got first dibs in the shower. We'd have talked for a bit longer. We'd have talked for longer if I'd known you would drain all the hotel's water. It was good, though. Sadly, oh, it is good, though. I said I'd try to be home by summer's end. That'd be awesome. We could have another pool party at Damien's. Anyway, how long until everyone's back? I'm soon. I'm going to go clean up now. Relax. I can wait. Olivia sets herself on the well-cleaned carpet and starts marching to the bedroom. Now nah, you go ahead and sit up. Oh, hold on. She picks out a soda from the mini-fridge and flicks the door shut with her hip. The can's drained and crumpled in seconds and gifts me a piece of litter. Wow! Treasure! Yep. I'll confide you guys when I'm done, right? Sure. Steal the wheelchair, Inko. Steal the wheelchair. The door clicks behind her as I stop making preparations. I pick up our room phone, room's phone and dial the number for room service. A brief phone call later and the, place is or, and the order is placed for some pizzas. Three pepperoni and one with anchovies. Set to deliver to my next destination. I buy the media cooler I brought and fill it up with ice and more sodas from the fridge. A rich man using the hotel mini fridge. Dang. And lastly, my camera bag. Where the hell has your camera been, man? It's just been nowhere. Where's your camera been all this time, buddy? You're the cameraman. You're not cameraing or drawing. Like that's, that's kind of part of what also bothers me about this stuff, right? It's like they set up the, the, the gym teacher. They never brought him back. They set up the, the painting lessons, and they never went, like, what is Olivia, how is Olivia with painting now that Iatacon is gone? Is she, is she more dedicated to being a teaching paint, you know, like, like with, with Lucy, where it's like they find her teacher self? Where, where are they taking it? Where's the, why are we just dropping plot points to get some sappy goop, goop? Give me the development. Give me the development. Give me Olivia struggling with, like, can I even teach someone to paint with, with Iatacon gone? Or, do, or perhaps it's a motivator. Maybe, maybe... Good old fucking Inko has some opinions about that, since he was getting lessons and Iatakan was a photographer. Hell, how does this work with Ben? There's so much they're just leaving on the table so they can do the gushy kissing scene. And uh, that makes me ingy. Alright? That makes me ingy. Makes me a little very, very unhappy boy. Makes me stomp my itty bitty feeties. <laughs> Angry. Cat no banana. Could have yawned again. It cannot be helped. Mm. Carrying everything, I step out of the bungalow into the fresh, humid air. Instantly dies from the humid. Oof. There's a huge shared balcony nearby, intended for parties and equipped for buffets. To my luck, the whole place is vacant. I make claim of one of the tables closest to the edge. From here, the whole town sits below in view of us. I notice its layers, from the tropical jungle to civilization to the beachfront. Across the water, the city is still visible. Hold on, I, I don't want to do this, but I kind of got it. I haven't looked at the script files for a while, but I need to know where we are, approximately. Well, fuck, I might be able to finish this right now. Are you kidding me? We're, like, halfway through this chapter. Oh, no, no, no. The whole Christmas thing was also part of that. So it's, it's a bit longer than I thought. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just make it work. Across the water, the city's still visible. Near enough to remind us of a close to home, but far enough that it feels like we're in a... Oh, oh Volcaldera is what you're seeing. It's a lot to take in. I let my breath out and inhale deeply. Really? Like, where are you? Are you in fucking Hawaii or not? Like, it's implied you're in, like, the tropics, subtropics. Why is there snow during, like, Christmas? I can understand January or February because that's later, but, like, the white Christmas, fuck you. Have an Australian Christmas, man. Get out the goddamn cactus. Have some fun. It's like, it's like with the meat. It's like there's this subtle political statement bubbling underneath that just refuses to let the fucking soup boil. Ugh, just let me have my Ben moment. Ben has things to do. Like, I get that the idea is that Inko doesn't give a shit about any of that, and he's the POV character, so he wouldn't register any of that, but it's... It's boiled the soup! 
let's make the most of this while it lasts. I mean, I guess also the problem is that it's like one ending out of four, but ending four always gets like the gets like the the, the juice and the squeeze already. Sending the mini cooler. Da Why did you even bother? Like your room is right over there, man. It's about the next few minutes. Gate. I mean, I guess breaking breaking off the. Uh, I mean, it's prep work. I guess it's fine. Spend the next few minutes gazing out over the view of the island. It's hard to look away, and I'm already getting ideas for where we should go next. But I have a task to perform first. Set my camera and tripod on the ideal location, retrieving my new remote. There you are. Turning around, I spot Damien approaching me with a quickened pace. I almost flinch until he walks right past me, stopping next to the mini cooler and patting the top of it as he fetches a can of cola. You know, since we only see Olivia's dad in ending one, and he's implied to exist in ending two, in ending four. He's, he's talked to, I mean. I, that's something I, I, I think would be kind of fun, is to have it so that every ending has like an element, and all the elements show up in the good ending. You know, it's just kind of like, oh boy. Or like something from the bad ending is distinctly absent. What the fuck is this? Oh no, no, combo class, don't do this to me. No, don't play, don't play, don't play! I just want to watch this later. Multiplication is taught wrong. Hell yeah. That's what I live for. I almost flinch as he walks right past me, stopping next to the mini cooler and patting the top as he fetches a can of cola. Don't run away now, you hear? I don't think it'll have much to say back, Damien. Everything on its way? I ordered pizza, it should be here soon. Ah, uh, cool. Listen, Four Eyes, number two. We'll be out in a sec. Oh yeah, he's a Four Eyes. I forget. <laughs> it's ingrained into his character model. Damien drops down a seat, gnawing on the top. The knot. Oh, Jesus, don't eat the top of the can. Ooh. Ooh. Dang, this place really is something else, though, isn't it? Thanks, Ego. No problem. I'm glad we could do something like this. True to Damien's word, Liz trolls out of her bungalow she sang with Damien, yawning into her hand. Her head seems to swing around more than usual. I feel amazing. I can't believe I've never tried acupuncture. You do know that's like 99% just you imagining shit, right? Like most... Uh, whatever. Everything's just so effortless, it's crazy. She joins us by the table, continuing to rave about her spa treatment. And they were just so coordinated, like a pit stop at, like a pit stop crew in a race. They call it the Ayakumu Lau tr treatment. Lau? Lau. I think that's my species in their native tongue. Don't make this awkward game. Neat! Actually, I took Olivia down to little Trudon a while back, and he told us the Japanese word for gator is Iwani. Who is he? Why, why is this he? Shouldn't, shouldn't there be like a... Because like, it's just you and Olivia, so Olivia is a he? Like, put in a chef told us. Come on! I think I heard of that before. But she's a baryonyx, isn't she? Man is the latest to join us. I check back the window to my bungalow to see Olivia out of the shower getting ready. That's what she said, but the resemblance is undeniable. Absolutely. Elementary school, whenever a teacher did the, the see you later alligator thing, everyone appointed her. And she hated it. Oh, you are not telling everyone about the dark traumas of my past. The true scars of her person. Olivia approaches, freshly washed off and carrying quite the payload with her. But is the payload the ice cream I so deeply desire? As I look at the bottom of this, um, man, there's a lot of commentary down here. But the one that gets me is this last section. <laughs> Make this not suck and tell Rippy to fuck itself because it's <laughs> to to enable the AFM. Whatever that is. This really stank since rolling back preserves this and it overrides the player's auto toggle. It also sucks because it, the default delay for advance. What the hell is going on here? 
Olivia approaches, freshly washed and carrying quite the payload with her. Jeez, is all of that your art stuff? You know vacations are to get away from work, right? Can it, unless you want to wake up tomorrow with a mustache. She's not Jigglypuff, please. She moves from the chair to the table facing the balcony and unfolds the travel easily. Atop it, a plain sketchbook is placed, but Olivia procures a small pink palais instead of any pencil. Hmm. Right away she gets to work, starting with the brilliant red at the top of the page. Don't stare, keep talking. We're just going on about our days. I checked out a few trails just before I cut back. Some beautiful stuff out here, you guys should check it out. Oh, hold that thought, heck yeah. He points to an approaching pair of dino ladies carrying large trays. They set them down on the tables. Four st fresh steaming pizzas. Why the hell are they delivered by, by, by a pair of dino ladies instead of one dude who's like working for Grubhub? And is not getting paid enough for this bullshit. Liz has to hold Damien back from drooling a hole in the table. Olivia however, has attention split between a canvas and the fresh food. But she shakes her head and goes back at it. <sighs> you don't even want one... Here. I pick a slice up, careful not to drop it, and bring it over to Olivia's mouth. Once she notices, she opens wide and chomps half of it in one mouthful. Actually, I complained about how long this is taking, but I realized that if we're already in Chapter 19, we're pretty much already done. So they definitely stop the whole, like, excessive aquarium scene that doesn't do anything. Alright, now it's a party! Damien springs some pizza for some pizza himself. Once we settle in for real, it gets Liz's attention. Illis, your last year goes expected? I remember you going on about it just before senior year started. Why the hell? Oh, never mind. Oh no, not at all. My predictions were way off course. I never expected things to turn out like this. But I'm glad it did. It's been nuts for everyone. I don't think anyone here is the same person they were before. What about you, Inko? What were you expecting as the new guy? That's a good question. First, I, I remember when I first stepped off the mess on the first day of school. I wanted to make a lot of friends, most of all. I haven't actually make it. I actually never made friends before. Not like you guys. Just people I know for as long as I was around before I had to move again. So it was my goal to get as many as I could. Yeah, how'd that go? I didn't know friendship could be so... Exhausting, but so rewarding too. All the trials and tribulations and everything else, I think they were all worth it. Because I made friends with you. F fucking Ben? No, fuck off, Ben. Get out of here. You, you can't just put Ben in here. I look to a certain girl who remains silent but in, not inattentive as I catch her own eye staring my way. <laughs> 